choice. I learned that I choose, I design, I choose who I am and what I want to be. And so, so, so do you, you get, you can choose. It won't be easy, but you can choose. Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my interview with Richard Arroyo, Senior Arts and Animation Director at Ubisoft Montreal. He's also the creator of the Games Workshop program at iAnimate. We'll talk about what pushed him to teach animation and directing. We'll talk about the iAnimate school and also the news about iAnimate introducing Blender to animators. Let's get started. So uh, you're 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 also working at iAnimate. So what's your yes. your position at, at, at iAnimate, and what is iAnimate? Yeah, so iAnimate is an online school where we teach animation and how to be, uh, you know, how to create great performance, how to create great animations, whether it's for games, film, creature, uh, everything that's related to animation. We have motion capture, we have rigging. Uh, so it's 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 a school to help you get to the the industry standards or learn how to surpass the standards what it takes to really to be an industry leader and that's what we do um i i created the games program and then with the team you know we also created uh, the creature and motion capture program uh, jason started i animate he he created the feature program and uh so yeah so my job is now is other than you know is to really manage help manage uh, i animate Uh, help the students. Uh, what I've been doing, um, you know, as I like to sometimes, uh, you know, I do video. Uh, you will send a video to to all the animators, you know, kind of to guide them and remind them why they're here, mm -hmm. uh, what do they need to do, uh, so they can, you know, uh, get the right opportunity or how to, you know, get that job. Um, you know, I'll coach them, and similar to kind of what I do with the directors sometimes yeah. at Ubisoft, but I, but you know, I do it at. at I animate as well. So right now it's that. And I'm also, you know, I manage what people see in our social media. It's like this, sh you know, presenting students work, showing off students work and letting them know what it's like to be an I animate. So, you know, snippets of the courses really just to let them know that we're here to help the, uh, to help them grow and, you know, get the first job or become, you know, a senior or start things like, oh my God, I'm going to become a lead and I'm on the, the path of becoming a director, help them get where they want to be and help them with their career in their future. So, yeah. Okay. So it's a lot, it's so, a lot of work. Uh, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's a lot of work. <laughs> but I, mean, I, love I mean, I, I don't, I don't yeah. understand how you, you manage all those things, but <laughs> <laughs> it's lack of sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, The big question about this is what motivated you to join iAnimate and create the, the Games Workshop program? What what's motivates you to get there? Because you were already working in the game industry. Yeah. And yeah. then you're, you're getting into this project of teaching people uh, animation, I mean, whether it's for games or whatever. One, I it's maybe it's just my, my calling. I love... I love helping and 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 sharing knowledge and and giving those uh every, anyone an opportunity to to do better in life. Or it's kind of kind of that's kind of like the the, the nitty gritty. But uh, you know, creating the games program came from even before I animate when you know when uh when I you know had was in my career game career and I was teaching at Ubisoft. You know, the animators and new animators come in or sharing my techniques. Uh, it start like my love for helping and teaching started there. And one of the reasons why I came back to Ubisoft was to give back to the, the studio that kind of inspired me to create uh, iAnime games. So I was teaching right away. And when, you know, uh, I moved to California and, you know, was at Obsidian, you know, bringing in animators, I was teaching them there. So teaching has always been a part of my way of, of supporting artists, uh, meeting Jason, you know, It was just uh, meeting Jason was, uh, you know, a big turning point to be part of iAnimate. And um, which was, uh, you know, my buddy Dave is the one that introduced, uh, introduced me to Jason. And like, I just kind of like, hey, would you be interested in teaching? I was like, yeah, I love, I, I mean, that's what I do. Like I, I trained animators mm -hmm. and game development, game development is very different. Because right? I, you know, I started in film and I made a jump into games many years ago. And I, and I understand 
both worlds and I appreciate both worlds, but there but there was a huge difference and there still is in, in a, a perception of game animators, right? Because before game animation was not looked upon like, oh my God, you're a game animator. Everyone, no, it's like you're a film animator. If you worked in film, yeah, you're like, yeah. oh my God, wow. Yeah. And when you're a game animator, it's like, oh, you're, you know, you're, yeah, yeah. you're a game animator. It's like, yeah. no man, game yeah. animation is super hard. You don't just have the camera and character. You have camera, a uh, can, uh, 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 um, you have the character, you have the camera, you have the player, and then you have the game engine, mm-hmm. right? These are four things that you need to like use and master. So, I anime came from that passion to like one help realize the game animation is is great. It's a great career. It's complex. There's a lot to learn, and just kind of like it just kind of. I was like, hey, hello world. I'm gonna. We're gonna do this game program, and you know, we put a, did a, a podcast, and then a, and then a video, and then it just kind of like grew, you know. And now the industry now is like, oh my god, game animators are badass, and I'm like, yes, finally. <laughs> That's, cool. That's cool. The, yeah. The, the, the cool thing, yeah, um, you, you said about ga- game animation. I feel like those last maybe four or five years. The f- frontier between feature film animation and game animation, respect-wise, I guess, yeah. is getting you know uh, tighter because uh, yeah. since game are more and more evolved, and, and we also use like game technologies to do movies, you know, the, 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 yeah. the, 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 there is a share. But so so that's super cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, but but yeah, there are, there are the, the, the the inputs are very different. This is what we were talking about when. You, you explain you have to do a game reel for Ubisoft. It's like, yeah, a game reel is not a feature film reel. These are not no. the same needs and stuff like that. So, no, no. Okay. So, ca- yeah. ca- can can you explain a bit uh, to us um, uh, who are the, the different? I know there are a lot. You, you can't explain everything, but yeah, yeah. What, what is the profile of the, the instructors at iAnimate? What are the different classes in a way now? Yeah, yeah. Because there are different workshops. Yeah, yeah, I think that one of the most important thing for anyone that wants to learn animation is make sure you know who you're learning from, right? Uh, that they're relevant, that they actually are in the industry, right? I, you know, and that is as a huge difference, right? And I and I mentioned that in in um, in a discussion that you know where when you go to school, you know, it's about learning about yourself and and the software, but it's not about uh, even though you know you're supposed to be ready for industry, it's not really that. So realize who you're learning from. I animate our instructors for the most part, like they're all like, you know, directors or, you know, art, 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 animation directors, uh, supervisor, uh, supervisors, leads They really have a lot of years experience. I mean, you know, it could be, you know, I think the average last time I counted, I think was average was eight. 18 years experience uh, yeah, most of their instructors have <laughs> yeah so it's not like hey i've been animating for five years and uh you know yeah i worked on this cool marvel project no 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 you know i've been animating for you know 20 plus years and i animate and i choose the shots i direct the shots these are the people you're going to learn from mm-hmm. so i animate you learn from you know really industry leaders you know really high profile high talent people um and in different programs, you know, because every program is different. You know, if, if you're starting off, you know, I highly recommend that you get a strong foundation. And we teach that in, in, in the feature in the feature program. And if you want to learn games, you will come to the games program. And if you want to learn VFX and creatures, well, you'll go to the creature program. So we have different programs that is really, uh, you know, specialized in getting you like to the real level that studios want, not just like, hey, I learned like no one, you know, I, I, I honestly is like when sometimes I get students applied to Ubisoft and I see their work, I'm like, I'm, you know, I try to be, uh, you know, nice, uh, straightforward and professional. I'm like, you know, you need work, you need to do. And I just put a few, like maybe three, four bullet points, you know, you have no cycles. Uh, there is no gesture expression in, in, in the, in the animation, meaning personality, uh, the weight is not there. And for gameplay, it would not be responsive. Right. And let's let them know you don't have these things. You need to get it right. And you, at iAnimate, we make sure that those things are answered or that you learn. It's up to you to make the commitment, but we will be there right next to you to push you and get you like really industry ready. So, so for, for you, what's the, the, 
the benefit of mentorship compared to taking a tutorial on YouTube or uh, learning from books or, or stuff uh, like that? Yeah, that's a phenomenal question. The, the, there's big difference. One, you have someone that's going to adjust to you, that's going to adjust to your learning, that's going to adapt to what you can absorb, right? It's going to guide you and to your needs, right? Obviously, you can watch a video and it's like, oh, I learned something, but did you learn something that will actually have an impact or do you have that person who's been there and has seen, you know, hundreds of artists go through the same problem and tell you how to resolve that problem or how to grow so you can actually get to the point you want to go. And that's what you get at iAnimate. You're going to get phenomenal lectures and you're going to get reviews and you're going to get you're going to have time to ask questions and you're going to have someone that's going to support you when you're like maybe you're in doubt and you're like, oh, my God, I don't know that is going to follow you through, you know, like each uh, workshop is 11 weeks. So you're going to have 11 weeks, someone dedicated to you and, and they're going to be there to help you and make sure that you are uh, achieving your goals. So I think that is a, a big difference versus watching a video like a video. You could watch it, but no one's holding you accountable. You know, I said like, you know, sometimes I would like, if you need help being uh, held accountable right here, be the ones like, did you do this? No. Do you know why? And then you get all the, you know, the sweat, the hot, you're like, oh my God, well, that's going to help you grow that difference. Someone to really, it's like, okay, you're doing good work. Now I want more from you. It's like, well, I'm doing good work. Well, no, good work is just the baseline. That's everyone does good work. It's excellent work that makes the difference, right? I'm going to teach you how to get excellent. I'm going to teach you, you know, why you want to do this and get you into a habit, right? You know, I talked about habits and behaviors. What are those things? And that's you. you get when you go to, you know, real mentorship. A real a mentor doesn't just teach you. He 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 helps helps you grow and find yourself and helps you mold into the to the the artist and 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 you know professional that you want to be. Not because we're all different. You have your own style, I have my own style, but I'm there to to really guide you and bring you and, and share my path, right? All my learnings, all my all, all the things that I, the challenge I have overcome, I will teach you and it's going to get you to your destination 10 times quicker. Pretty yeah, much that. that, that right? that's, that's, that's the point, really. Because, uh, so I've been at iAnimate, so I, I can, you know, make a, a little testimonial, but I feel like the, the thing that people may not know about, you know, because it's not obvious whenever you want to, to get engaged in, in an online school or stuff like that, but the fact that you produce an animation and then you have like uh, 15 20 years experience artist that watch your animation and tells you what's good what's wrong and how to improve that's a big deal the fact that you have a real feedback from a professional and this is what you will never have and, and whether it's for animation or whatever you do the, the fact that it's like when you have interned into a company they will they will uh, improve their skill way faster than, than people just taking classes. The fact that you are kind of working with a professional that, that guides you, that's, that's a big deal for me about taking those classes, you know? And that, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was a hell You're of learning ride. from the director who, like, example, yeah. say you take my class, right? And let's say I'm teaching and I'm going to teach you some, some of the new stuff, right? You're going to take my class. You're not... You're not, uh, and I tell this to, to my students, I'm not a teacher. I'm a director. You're going to learn what you need to learn as a studio. So one, if you present your files the wrong way, there's a problem. That is, you're not going to go to studios like, hey, you know, kind of like, no, 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 no. When I'm directing, sometimes I only have five minutes. So it's like, boom, five minutes. Yeah, it's great. Push this, change that, man. Good work. High five. Boom, fist bump. Elbow bump now because of COVID, <laughs> yeah, right? <yeah. laughs> you know, and and. But you have to be understand like, okay, why do you say that? How am I going to improve it? You know, but you have to, obviously, we're not going to be like five minutes, uh, like super intense with, with a student. We help you build there. But you're going to not learn from just someone that just says, I'm going to teach you animation. You're going to learn from the director that actually the one that makes the decision, right? If I'm going to do, uh, you know, a $40,000 shoot and I'm saying I want this performance, this animation, well, right? I, you know, we're going to shoot it or, or we're going to just do reference, but you're going to keyframe it. You're going to learn from that person how and why and what level you need to hit versus, you know, just like, hey, go do a nice, you know, do a cool project, right? You know, 
cool projects are fun, but a director has that that responsibility. So you're going to learn that as well. So you're going to learn so much more. You're going to be really prepared. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm very passionate about yeah, 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 about yeah. sharing you, and helping. I hope you are. <laughs> oh, no, I as, love it. I, I actually, I tell students like I, when, uh, when I was teaching, my opening lines was like, hey, guys, right? First of all, I'm not a teacher. I'm a director. And this is, you know. You're, you're in here, you're in, this is a studio, right? The expectations is what you would see at the biggest studios, right? That is the expectation. If, if you're nervous, good. We're going to use that as, as a motivation to keep you alert. Uh, 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 and then the other thing I'll say is like, you're here to learn. I'm here to have fun, right? And I want, <laughs> I'm going to share my fun with you, but I, but I guarantee you're going to learn. And I guarantee you're going to improve, right? Whether you're going to like, uh, you know, take it easy. I doubt that's going to happen because I won't let it happen, but you're going to improve. And the question is, you know, we all love improving in different ways. Some people like to improve and it's hard. Like, oh man, it was hard. And other people like they improve and they're excited. I'm going to make sure that you improve, but I'm going to have a blast doing it. So I tease <laughs> them a little bit and we get some laughs. So it's yeah, fun. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, Ionimate was was kind of you you know using the the, the industry standard and and uh, teaching the industry standard through the industry standard tools. Yes. I think there are some movement in the lines maybe to Blender related content. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. We we we. I love. I gotta say, I love what the the Blender community has, has been doing. I truly believe in uh, the work. Uh, I mean, it's just great the community the blender community like and, and i really want to use that word community the 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 fact that it's you know open source that people share and and and, and help and complement each other is something that um that drew something that like i was like i really resonated with and that's why you know we um we started doing uh, blenders for animators at iAnimate. so it's really to say if you're an animator Right, and you want to learn Blender and get those opportunities in, especially in Europe and overseas. You know, we want to support the Blender community. We will teach you how to animate with Blender. Now, um, Blender for animators is really about uh, you already have the animation skills, right? You you come with a certain amount of years of experience, or or really just really want to dive into Blender. That's really who it's for. So either you're really interested in Blender and you just want to like learn Blender and and play with Blender, or you're an animator with uh, with experience that wants to learn the software so you can actually go into the. There's some really go amazing things happening uh, uh, on your side of of the world, man, with, with Blender. So it's like yeah, yeah. if you want to jump on that, well. Come, you know, you can come to us, learn Blender, and then you can go overseas and, uh, and enjoy that experience. It's, I mean, working overseas is pretty awesome. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, Blender in Europe is is used in, in a lot of studios, and uh, yeah, now they do tend to produce LTS version of Blender so that it's yeah. rea reliable over time, because a lot of people might not know that. They say Blender is awesome. Blender can do anything Maya can do, maybe. Okay. Yeah. But what they don't know is that a lot of studio develop their own tool based on the specific version of the of the of the software, for example. Yeah. And so this was kind of the the the, the little thing that keep kept uh, Blender behind in the industry. Yeah. So that's cool to see an online school that that teaches the. The fundamental of of and the, the of being someone that could uh, be in the industry, you know, yeah, slowly getting into the the, the Blender side of things. So uh, I'm sure this is that just the beginning of the the Blender, uh, you know, the Blender program at iAnimate, and and I'm sure it will, it yeah, will I evolve mean, uh, over time for sure. It, it 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 will, you know, and you know, I think uh, you know, we did we did this for the community, right? The animation community as a whole, you know, it was something that uh, you know, that was being asked and we talked about it a few times. Yeah. Um and then that you know, other other Blender users were like, "Hey, you know, I would like to go to iAnimate, but I only know Blender. Can I join?" I was like, "Absolutely. If you if you're a Blender user and you want to learn animation, you can still join iAnimate. You can still 
you know, take our classes and do the workshop in Blender as, as you did, right? Yeah, you, yeah. you just did the, you took the workshop using Blender. So, you know, we totally support artists and animators out there. So if you want to join and you just know Blender, you can still join and learn and improve and grow your career and get those expertise that you need to, to flourish. So. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That, that, I think that's that's a good point. Is that if you are already comfortable with Blender and animating in Blender, I mean using the tool, then you can learn animation through the school. You know, we don't care about using Maya or whatever. It's about animation. That's that's very important because game yeah. animation is not software centric. You because I, even if tomorrow I, I work at Ubisoft and in at some point. You have a department that only use Maya. I mean, the, the 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 production. They say, okay, he has like two weeks to learn Maya, and this is how it goes. You you learn yeah. those tools very fast. That's not that's in, not a key thing in recruiting or building a career. The software you are using, because when no. when you send your reel, they don't know if it's Maya or if it's Blender. They just see yeah. the animation and if it fits. Yeah. So that that's yeah. cool. Okay, that's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> yeah so, we're yeah, really that, about animation and and in the community so it does yeah. it doesn't matter what software you use yeah yeah so i totally recommend i animate <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you yeah. uh, i uh, you know, I, I think yeah. I, I i may take another class maybe later on because it, oh yeah it was, yeah 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 it was it was uh the it was a big step forward for me really both uh uh, in, in connection, the fact that I, I could reach you, but I could reach Jeremy Collins, you know, it's kind of, I mean, we are all simple human being and we are all yeah. very cool and you're super cool. And, 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 but, you know, we all, we are all looking our, um, us junior animator are looking <laughs> to people like you, like, wow, he's on the top <laughs> of the mountain, you know, trying to reach out. So, yeah. and, and, and we're that, there, the hand's there. It's like, yeah. I, that's what I animate is about. It's about coming, it's like, come, let me help you. Because why be, it's like, I, I always said, like, it's a beautiful view, but why be there alone? You want to be with people that you, you, that you care about or you enjoy or that have the same passion and love for creating the thing. So it's like, our hands, extends to those who want to to have that a view be like man like you know it's like yeah man you, you feel like coming that's what i do with the uh, with um with one of my artists i was like hey uh as you know i said like i'm shooting a shoot like you want to come on set um you know i could use some help and and you know uh you can watch how how i direct so you can learn like come on like that's what i animate's about is like come and we're sharing our experience to help you and it's it's fun yeah, I, I do really do believe if people can uh, enroll, they might they do not uh, they may not feel shy or whatever because all those 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 people are super accessible. You know, in the end, you you just have this first like thirty minutes where you feel a bit you know uncomfortable, and then <laughs> it's like you know, we are just joking. I mean, the, the first time we've been talking, like the first ten minutes, I was super nervous, and, and in the end, we were like laughing and saying stupid stuff. Maybe I know. Yeah, uh, because so. we care. We we have the same love, right? We have yeah. this love of being creative. And to have someone that understands, you know, that side, that creative side, that geeky side, sometimes, you know, you're like, you're geeking out. It's like, you know, the, the, you know, the, uh, when he lands, like, you know, it's all, we're all expressive. We're making these funny faces and sounds. And, you know, if I did that in front of my wife, it should be like, okay, well, you know, like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm like, sometimes I'm, I'm thinking about a, a shot uh, before, you know, if I have to fly to Toronto and shoot some, okay, I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm in the living room, I'm walking in circles and acting and out, and she's like, oh, he's in the zone. <laughs> you know? So I'm, I know, you know, sometimes people's like, you look crazy, but like, no, no, that's, that's what we do. Cause we really want to get into it. Right. And get some of that method acting in there. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Absolutely. We, we, um, you're not alone. I think that's something I like to tell the artists that you're not alone. We've been there. We know what it's like. We know the struggle. We know the, the insecurity, the, the, you know, the awkwardness. You're not alone. We will remove that and help you, help you, you know, on top yeah, of the mountain, yeah. really. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I, I've also seen, so uh, I, I've seen you on, on many videos and stuff like that because you are really involved into the whole animation community. 
mm -hmm. uh, whether it's at the, um, uh, I don't remember, the animation talks, I think. Yeah, or, yeah, um, animation talks, or uh, I did, I, I did I, some other I've events. I've yes. and stuff like yes, that. Yes, yes, so, absolutely. So, uh, I guess it's the same thing that pushed you to, to join iAnimate and create the, 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 the Games Workshop, but, but can you tell us a, a bit more about this the, the all those talks you give and 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 the yeah. event you you yeah so um you know i i i have been lucky that there's people that that believed in me you know when i was a, a young artist and they just saw me for me right just as as an artist and not you know for for what i look like the color of my skin or anything they just looked at me it's like man this is a this is a person that that loves what he does He's really committed and has helped me and they have helped me grow. You know, I've, uh, you know, I talk sometime about um, Andy, who's, uh, well, he passed away. He's a Disney animator that had a, a big influence on my career. And there's many people that had influence on my career. But to get that and not, you not be judged, like it's, it's a blessing. And I want to give that uh, back to other artists. And I Animate was, uh, you know, it's, it was the stepping stone of how can, I mean, Teaching and training at Ubisoft was the start, right? But how can I help more, more artists out there, more animators, regardless of where they're from? And when we get animators from, you know, from Brazil to Shanghai to to obviously, you know, in France and Europe, UK and states and Canada. But how can I help those who who feel alone or feel like, like ah, oh, they're struggling? So I animate came from there, and and I love that, and that's when I kind of branch out to doing events. Um, you know, I started here. Actually, I was in California and, and I was in contact with um, with the team here. And, and it's like, you know what? I have so much more to to share. And even now, yesterday I was talking about some something other than I want, I'm planning on, on on sharing and doing. But to do these events is for me it was a great way just to help and and reach out and connect. Like to, I mean, this year you couldn't really, but just to yeah. meet the the animators in person. And give them the time that that they need, right? You know, you know, when you're a young artist, or even if you're in the middle of your career, right? You know, sometimes we have artists that, you know, they're they're 27, right? They're 27 years old, they got married, they just have their first child, and then they're like, and they're like, Well, I want to grow my career so I can have a, a comfortable life. And meeting these artists to say, like, great, this is this is what you can do, how you can do it, but understand where they're at. So that's why I wanted to do events and meet them in person. Um, just to give them that, you know, sometimes just five minutes, right? I get five minutes sometimes with an animator or I review their work at example, at CTN or at pixel or, or, um, I really enjoyed the promised land, uh, when I did it in, in Poland, uh, with, uh, uh, Sebastian Columba, I, to meet people around the world and realize we're all the same, you know, we all have the same wants and needs and the same worries and struggles to me, it was like to do those events is to show like, Hey, you could start from the impossible and you can, you know, you can do, you can do it. Like my story is quite unique. You know, it's, I won't go away because sometimes it might be too sad and too, too dark, but, but I mean, look, I mean, like I, I got some cool things, <laughs> got some cool toys, you know, uh, it can be done and, and we're here to help you uh, create your own path. So it's kind of like, that's why I wanted to do events. Uh, that, that, that's great. Um, so so maybe you 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 <laughs> you've been talking about your history that that motivates you to to do to do this yeah. uh, and I guess you you feel lucky at some point and you're kind of trying to give the luck to to the other people to be able to do it but but what you're constantly repeating and I think this is super important because I I do feel the same thing when when I look at you, when I look at people like Jeremy Collins, Rick Lico, Dave Gibson, like they are like, wow, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> yeah. big deal. But as soon as you talk to them, you understand that they had like somehow a, a, a life path that you can connect with. I mean, they are just human beings. They are not like, they were not born onto the cloud of the gods of animation, you know? <laughs> like they, 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 most of Practical them, they, they may not have done animation before and they get into the industry as a junior, they struggle, they learn, they get better. At, and at some point, you, if you input the passion and stuff like that, you 
you're there you're the director at, at you know uh, animation <laughs> yeah. at ubisoft and stuff like that so so really uh i, I do hope that through this this video people will understand that everybody i mean that's kind of the the, the rat that we step but anybody can do anything you know yeah absolutely. and and at some point guys like you at i animate if you if you want someone to help you you know do do the this thing or do the right choice or or i help you improving that's that's somehow the the way to do it but but yeah I, i've met some some you know gr great artists through workshops or yeah. events like that and that's so stimulating uh you know where when you you meet like <clears throat> people that are in the industry for a long time and you have the chance to talk with them it's so you know you really feel like the, the human being stuff they, you're not seeing their work you're seeing the people and you understand that they they speak with the same words they they speak with the same passion you know for animation yeah, and yeah. i think when I do mentoring or a bit of teaching, this is what I try to do just to ignite the passion. You, mm -hmm. you try to explain people how to learn because you can't teach them everything, but what they have to look for when they are learning something. Yeah. But I think that if you are able to motivate them, you know, or, or give them the insurance that they, are, uh, they have the right passion and if they push it they can do a career into it that's yeah. i mean that's a big victory you know uh, it, it so, is it yeah. is and i tell you know i say this right you are if you know or this is what i say if you look you have five fingers like the five people that you should have a, a bare minimum five people are in your surrounding and they will tell you who you are right they'll say it'll kind of dictate but i but but if you look at it as the other hand, the other five, it's like what you read, uh, who you who you study, uh, the things that you put in your mind and the craft that you practice will will dictate what you will become. Right. You are this person today. Right now, I'm Richard, you know, you know, uh, you know, whatever, you know, senior director at Ubisoft, uh, you know, manager at iAnimate. But I'm still you know, uh, surrounding myself with, you know, with other CEOs, uh, studio heads, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, big, you know, you know, directors, right? I'm making sure that I surround myself with the right people with the, the same, um, same passion or the same uh, discipline or the same drive, because that's going to help me continue to, to grow. And that also helps me continue to share with those who follow follow me or work with me, so you you should think about uh, you know or the audience should kind of like who are the people that I'm surrounding myself with or the things that I'm doing to help me grow and that's hopefully that made sense but I just wanted to put that out there you know like, yeah yeah but that, think that's, about that. that's yeah 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 I mean we are well, I think it's the case for any kind of of job but all artistic related or we say in France, so I don't know if the English word is right, but artisan are related when you have a craft, whether it's cooking, whether it's doing animation, sculpting, yeah. whatever. Uh, it's better to create an environment around you, whether it's people or the, the thing, uh, as you tell yeah. me, you get yeah. inspiration from to, to be in, in the craft you want. And I think this is the kind of, of thing you, you kind of build naturally when you are passionate by something because you will always go always go for for, for those kind of things so so yeah, that's absolutely that, that's yeah the, the last word is that people have to know that they can access this kind of professional through uh, uh i animate for example and and just see the the roadster of you know <laughs> Uh, no. uh, instructors and they will say okay i'd love to run from someone that were that blizzard or whatever and yeah there, there are some people there you know? yeah They're yeah we got you know it, we so got we got blizzard the cool. uh, island you know people that worked at ilm pixar disney uh you know ea uh whatever we like yeah. we like we don't let anyone we don't uh you know i i I, any instructor, I interview all the instructors. It's not anyone that just teaches. It's not like a, you know, because everyone would love to teach, but having the right person that has the the real talent, the real experience, and the right uh, and the right me uh, method yeah. to ensure that their students will become great, I don't take lightly. 
we don't take lightly at uh, uh, animate. It, it, these are really great instructors, or they are really the right people to help you. And if you want to become great, well, the, the idea is to learn from someone who's done it. And I want to make sure that the the audience know or the students know that we take it very seriously, and 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 it's a privilege to have a, a positive impact on their lives, right? If the things I help, if I can help you become great and do really well and and and, and flourish. I know that will have an impact on you, on and 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 your future. And if you know if you're in with someone and and you know have a partner and or or married and kids, that it will also have an impact on their life. So I animate. We take it. You know, we understand what we do and what we teach can do amazing things for you. So it's you know, but we love doing it. So you know, as as much as it, it sounds like, oh my god, they're really serious, but we uh, love it too. Yeah, yeah. That that's <laughs> yeah. that. I I feel like. It, it, it's really about passion, but that that's something you you point out is that the the people there they also know how to teach. It's not just that they are good animators or they are like a lot of experience. They also know how to to communicate this experience, and that's yeah. very important because I, I believe that you 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 can meet the best animator ever if you don't know how to share his knowledge or guide you that's kind of you know a, a mismatch and and yeah. this is not the case uh, absolutely i guess absolutely. with, with animate i just like to to go more into small personal stuff of everyday the everyday life so yeah the everyday life of rick you want to yeah know. you seems to be <laughs> let's say kind of busy <laughs> 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 thinking of a yeah. portion Did you of my brain put is thinking a, a of a bit new of world. Makeup like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm not a touch up. I did wash my face this morning okay. before. You, I was you like, look I fresh. Sure. You look fresh. Yeah, fresh. So, the beard, do, you know. <laughs> do you have any? I mean, what, what's your daily routine, and how do you deal with all of this? Do you have like, I don't know, uh, a way of life to to be able to be? I, I believe a dad and and a director and and also an instructor and stuff like that. So the question is, is it like the routine or is it, is it, the, I, okay. Mindset is key, right? Understanding your mindset and, and respecting your, 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 your mind, body and, and soul. When I mean like in your soul is like your being, right? Like what, what you're about. You have to understand you dictate. And I often explain it's like you can design and you can design your future. You can design your your skills. You can choose. You, I mean, you do choose, right? So, mindset is one big piece that I, I that I teach um, when I do the personal one on one training. And then habits and behaviors is like a a blueprint of the of how to be successful repeatedly, right? Like animation. If you look at animation, how do you always get great shots? Well, there's a process. Well, how do you set yourself for success? Well, you can find a process for yourself. You know, if you're, you know, uh, I like, you know, I, and I just literally got a rowing machine, right? It's upstairs. I have to bring it down, you know, so exercise is part of my method of making sure that I'm healthy. My body's healthy and I'm not just locked up in, in my office all day. I, you have to be healthy. You have to be outside. So. My routine is is really kind of uh, managing that that idea, and and um, and putting the the right amount of energy in each aspect. So yes, I have my, you know, you know when I wake up, I have my my routine. I wake up and drink water. Right, first thing I do is I drink some water to to start my day. And like I said, mornings. I love my mornings because I I. I already had an idea of how the day is going to go, and and even though it's a plan, it's not like I'm stuck to it. Like I will, I will be like, here's the idea of it, but I'm not scared to to change it. But if I if if there's no need, I won't change it. So that is something is is habits, behaviors, mindset, and discipline. You need to be disciplined. I'm uh, I believe in being disciplined with my time. Right, time is something that you never get back. Yeah. So it is something that you need to understand. How much time are you putting into Netflix? Right? How much time are you putting into uh, browsing on TikTok? How much time are you, uh, you know, putting into you know tweeting? And ask yourself, all that time, 
Was it worth it? Did it give me anything? Did it give me what I really, really, really wanted? And then maybe it did, but did was that really what I needed? Because there's the difference between a want and a need. So I think about those things and I I apply that into my into my my being in my everyday. So I dedicate time to to uh, to my family, to my health. Uh, obviously to my profession and to teaching because that is a real to me it's it's not a job it's 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 a passion right it's call it you know my passion is it really drives me i dedicate a lot of time into that and then you know like anyone else i try to surround myself in that and create my own environment and uh Make the best choices possible, right? That's it. I, I don't know if that made sense, but there's a lot of complexity in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, I think that the 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 the, the world discipline you will see a lot of talk about this. You know, motivational talk on on YouTube yeah. about that, and whether you take the one from Arnold Schwarzenegger or other <laughs> artists, they all tell the same thing. You know, you have to yeah. grind it if you want to be an animator. At some point, you have you know to 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 set a routine and whether it's waking one hour earlier forget about netflix and animate yeah. for an hour and do your job yeah, yeah. and then whatever so yeah yeah i i mean i totally relate to this <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wake, own your own success i tell the students yeah. right and uh, you know some, i'll send emails and, and let them say you have to be you own your own success right you're you have to cheer yourself on you have to say if I want it, I have to do it, right? We're here to help you. Like I'll, I'll, you know, I'll help you. I'll, you know, if you're having a hard time or need some advice, career advice, whatever, I'll reach out. I'll hit you up. I'll do a video for you and, and, and you know, send it to you to help you. But you have to make that choice. You have to. Win. Uh, it's not me that's going to, to, you know, apply and get the job. You're the one who's going to apply and get the job. You're the one who's going to say, okay, I, you know, I got a great job. I saved up money and now I want to, you know, uh, buy my first place. Like you're going to do it. Where I'm here or I animate, we're here to help you and give you the right tools, the right skills, and the right, uh, the right mind, the right environment, the right mindset, all that. We're here to do that. And and I think, you know, for myself, that's what I put in. Like. You want to you want to achieve this? You want to become a director one day? Well, you can come and learn, and I'll teach you what I've done, and I'll give you my path and tell you what were my challenges and my struggles so you do not have to go through the same challenge and struggles. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. So what, quick, quick uh, last questions. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, what, what, what are your, your uh, uh, expectations for next year? Aside of from COVID, because everybody is looking for a solution. Oh my God! Next so. year is 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 it is for myself. I believe it. It's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal year for our industry, and it's just the start. It's just the start, man. Uh, as much as I like, you know, I love Netflix. I watch a lot of Netflix, but it's you know later at night, right? <laughs> you know, or I have like two days. Where I'm like, okay, I get Netflix time, um, but. There's so many phenomenal projects coming and our industry is transforming and the the indie industry has a phenomenal potential to explode and the 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 remote industry, you know, working remotely. So yeah. anyone from from, you know, anywhere in the world has a phenomenal opportunity to grow. There is a new industry being made, right? And that industry is something that I've been looking at and, and really interested in. And, and I'm just like really excited about that. And that's something I'm like, you know, you know, will I, you know, jump on that and, and do it? Most likely I might, I think I'm going to do it because to me, it's like that industry is, is all about sharing, right? It's all about sharing and, and, uh, and, you know, that doing this right now, that's that industry. It's about sharing and content creation. And there's something there that's and so all to say 2021 2020 was the 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 light right it's like everything is changing everyone's yeah. remote now um, uh, you you know everyone gets to work from home and that's gonna force everyone to grow and being more effective more efficient um, more creative which I'm like yes so 2021 now is to start seeing those flames 
kind of rise? Like who who are those ones that really like are going to to do something great or fun or unique and you know that's going to lead the way? Oh mm. man, I will I got uh, I have this amazing thing, this idea that I wanted to to pitch to, to Ubisoft is like a type of game and how it how it would I don't want to say too much because I'm really excited yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, right? yeah. And I'm holding and you, on that. You may not that, yeah. want to, to pitch yeah. this publicly. So yeah, I will yeah, call you be soft next day. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, <laughs> hey, you know, but but you have to you have to realize that, you know, some people are like, oh my God, it's, you know, things are changing, the world changes. And now it's like, no, man, this is, you gotta, this is the best time to 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 grow or reinvent yourself. Oh my God, I am excited for the industry. I'm like every and every uh, you know students that come to us. I'm like, congratulations, you're getting ahead. Congratulations, I literally, I literally say congratulations. Uh, the opening video, I think you you saw it open. I first yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Well, congratulations for choosing you, for for taking what you need to do because you know you know sometimes we say, oh, if I did that, some great things happen, but you don't do it. But Congratulations for choosing you for for seeing that the future is amazing. Now let's get started. And to me, 2021 is just I mean, we're gonna it's gonna take a few years, but this is a new boom, baby. Yeah. The film industry, you know, all these film studios, uh, you know, they're gonna do straight to DVD. More and more are gonna do straight to DVD. But that means smaller studios that have great stories could do the same and yeah. they can have a phenomenal story. So, you know, like the Blender community, you know, when you guys did that awesome, you know, short, uh, that could be like you got the Blender community could do a great short and and say, hey, let's put this on Netflix or on Amazon Prime or on Disney Plus and opportunity wildness. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, it's a bit comparable also to, to the, 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 the youngest people <laughs> watching this. It's uh, comparable to, to music at some point. Uh, you know, when, when I was younger, I had a band and it was at the time where doing your own CD, you know, was yeah. starting to be something like uh, um, doable, you know, because yeah. you could yeah. do it on the computer. You didn't need to go into a, a studio with a lot of recording stuff. And nowadays, I, I mean, I believe like the past five years, the educational content online uh has been growing and has been getting uh, greater and greater both in quality and accessibility and this is i mean a lot of people see internet as something being kind of toxic because there are a lot of you know you can waste a lot of time on internet as yeah. you, i just said yeah, yeah. before yeah. <laughs> but it's also a place where you 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 can learn and access anything and now you can connect with people you're in montreal I'm like 10,000 kilometers away from you. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we, we, are, we are just talking. I was taking classes with someone that was like on the opposite side of planet Earth. And that's <laughs> totally yeah. fine, you know. And that's that's a big uh, chance our the, the current generation have. And this is going to evolve. And also this is becoming, and this is what you were pointing out. This is kind of becoming a standard. You know, and I think the the current situation with the pandemic is also something that might push a bigger industry to reconsider the, the way they work with more remote uh, job like that. Yeah. And, um, and I can see myself, I get more and more opportunities to work with people from a lot of different countries, but you, you don't... I mean, it's always better to, to be part of a team in the same studio and stuff like that. But now there are more and more opportunity wherever you are because you, you can connect with people all around the world. And the technology now is here to share your work uh, without moving, you know. Uh, so that's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you can yeah. work anywhere. And, mm. and like I said, you, get, you design your future. You, you choose the path. And if you don't like that path, you can stop and pivot in a second you're like 
you choose and, and you know it's like uh, and I and we mentioned this I say make sure you realize who you're learning from because it's a, it's a choice right so if you're uh, you know if you're in school anywhere in the world right you could be you could be anywhere I don't know anywhere you could be where you're at or or you could be in Vancouver you could be in in, in anywhere Texas you could be in Mexico it doesn't matter you can choose who you're going to learn from right it's it's a choice you can say you know what I want to learn from those who if I'm playing their games or watching their movies. I want to learn how they yeah, did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can choose. So yeah. uh, the future is is amazing for for anyone. And you can choose where you want to work, right? You're like, hey, I want to work, you know, with this studio, but I don't want to move. You there's there is opportunity to work from home, you know, with with you know Blizzard or ILM, Ubisoft, or Disney, uh, Weta, right? You could be a remote animator for Weta. You know, as long as, you know, but there's a lot of VFX industry, uh, you know, everyone's like, you know, you can't do it VFX. No, I mean, there's some studios been doing remote work for many oh, yeah. years now. Yeah. You can work on uh, the next uh, Marvel movie yeah. from home. You say, hey, you know, I'm going to do this and you can even make it as a hobby. <laughs> right? If I can work, if I can put, you know, uh, you know, uh, a 20 hour day. OK, maybe not 20. It's more like, you know. 16 but you know if i could put a 16 hour day and be able to do a job and you know have i animate you can like do your job and still like hey i want to work on a marvel movie but as a as a hobby right i just want one sequence one shot and just work on it you know <laughs> if you want to do it do it you can do anything you want the sky's the limit that's how i say i'm very i see this is an amazing time for everyone everyone should be excited uh you know on the positive side obviously you know yeah, yeah. you know we don't want to uh, think about the negatives, but the, the positive, there's great opportunities for everyone. So the, 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 the last thing I'd like to add upon this is that I think that the biggest chance you can have in your life is to be able to choose, you know, and if yes. you are able, so well, when you, you say, congratulations, you have chosen I animate or you have chosen your future to, to yeah, learn. You chose you yourself. Know? Yeah. I mean, I see a lot of people complaining because they, they, can't get to the level or the, the thing they want to do, but but do you really, if you have the, and this is what you have said, and this is kind of, we are kind of getting a bit cheesy, but that's the very truth. If you can choose between Netflix or drawing, man, go drawing, because this will lead you to whether being an artist or, or being an animator at Down some point. Down the line. And, I mean, and, that choice I said, right? The pen, the choice you make. Hmm. That it's a, it could be a small choice. I'm going to choose to, and this is and my story. Here's a quick portion of my story. I chose to to sleep at school, right? I would I would go to school. I, I just a big bucket of rice, put it in the fridge, and that's all I could uh, I could have, and 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 afford. But I chose to invest in myself. Th that was a great choice. I didn't say ah, oh, you know, I'm gonna party all the time, whatever. I was like, no, no. I chose myself. And it, and it gave me, uh, I mean, now I have the career because I invest myself when I was young. I was, I'll pass out in front of my desk. I'll wake up. I'm like, okay, freshen up. It's three in the morning. I'll continue learning. I mean, I'm not su suggesting that for everyone, but the idea is that I chose myself. I invested in myself. And today, you know, many years later, I am overly, uh, you know, ecstatic and and i have to say i'm you know i'm very uh you know very happy and and honored and i do not take for granted that i'm thank god i made those great choices uh when i was at that age when you know i had time because when if you if you know if you're trying to push really hard or grow and and you know you have two two boys that like to wrestle and do jujitsu and, and choke you uh sometimes it's hard you know because you're, you're, you're being choked but but I made the choices to say, hey, I want a great career. I want a great life. I want to do something. I put in the time there. And now today I look at it and I'm like, oh, my God, look all the things I've done. Look where, where I'm at. I'm the senior art director, art animation director. You saw biggest games, uh, new new thing coming, new IP uh, or, or, you know, or, you know, <laughs> wow, thank God I did all that. But if I would say, oh, you know, I'm going to wait later, later is most likely going to be too late because someone else is going to make the right decision. So choose yourself and realize the time you put into yourself will pay out and you're going to see it and benefit later. It's an investment. Anyways, that's just me being like, I animate 
teaching there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that, that's that's super, super, super interesting. I feel like there is uh, something about you because you know you've been talking about about I animate about Ubisoft and you were like oh, I can't speak about my own story but I, I I'm really curious about it and I'd like to to if you want to share what you've uh, <laughs> been through or whatever yeah, yeah. but so, sometimes it really dictates also why you have the this will to choose uh, to work your ass off to be better at something and people maybe that add a more comfortable life or whatever i don't know yeah, yeah. maybe will be more lazy because, because as, you, as you tell they, they take it for granted you know they yes. have everything so yeah if you're up to share a yeah, bit I'll of share the, I'll tell the, you the, this. the i i tell you this and i think uh you know i love how you you understood right and you're you get in every lesson right you're really understanding like this conversation is 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 a, is a master class in itself so you said it and you got one uh, something very important choice you choose now if you let other people choose for you that no you can't do it no you won't succeed no it doesn't work like that you weren't made for it then you're not choosing my life has always you know there's been moments in life where it's like no 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 uh, we can't do it. No, no, you, you know, you don't fit, uh, you don't, you don't look the part or you don't fit the part. Why would I let someone else choose my life? Why would I let someone else choose and have an impact on my kid's life? Why would I let someone choose uh, how, how my parents will see and look at me and they'll be like, well, I'm proud of you, you know, son, Richard, I'm a, I'm a son, I'm a father, I'm a husband. Why would I let someone else choose? You have to choose yourself. And when I said congratulations, you chose you. That was not just a little thing. You have to understand the magnitude. That choice down the line will pay through. It will really be a service to you. And the more that you choose and learn how to make the right choices is when you're going to realize is that you're going to choose the right people you learn from, the right people you hang out with, the right things you put in your mind, the right place to be, you know, like, uh, you know, you're going to choose. And that's what I, that's what I believe in. That's what I teach. And that's what I live. It's like, when I have a team, I choose the people that, and they, and I want them to know that I chose them and that I am committed to them, to their success, because I know their success is the project success, is the studio success. And when, you know, if I pick a, a, a you know, studio, anything, I want them to know the studio to know that I picked them because I want to bring success. And I want them to know that, you know, just because I picked them, they also need to, to choose me. So choice is a powerful thing. So congratulations, if you chose to watch this, then I will say congratulations because what you're doing, Pierre Rick, is phenomenal. You choose to put something great out there, to put some positivity and share with a community that, and you chose to care. Congratulations. And those <laughs> who are listening, congratulations for choosing to like, hey, I'm going to fill my mind. I'm going to learn something. And wow, I have now more choices. I can potentially go here to learn or follow this person. Choice. I learned that I choose, I design, I choose what I, what, uh, who I am and what I want to be. And so, so, so do you, you get, you can choose. It won't be easy, but you can choose. <laughs> Mics off, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right? but that's yeah. it. You wanted yeah. to know choice. That's cool, man. That's cool. Thank you so much. That will be a perfect introduction. <laughs> yeah, no, no, awesome, man. Super That's awesome. awesome. Do you have anything to, to add and, and we will wrap it up, you know? Yes. Uh, I think, you know, uh, you know, I animate the uh, workshop starts January 4th. If you want to learn, grow, you want to be with part of community that understands you and it will help you. I animate is there for you. I'm here for you. If you have questions, you need career advice, email me at rick at ianimate.net and I'll, you know, I'll give you my input and tell you what you need to do and how you can do it. And uh, yeah, you know, I animate's a great place and uh, the animation community. I love you guys. You know, happy, you know, happy holidays, happy new years, nothing but the best. Okay, thank you so much, man, for the uh, everything. 
uh, the past that I, I animate and your time right now. And uh, I wish you the, the, the best for the, the incoming project with Ubisoft and I animate. And uh, I hope to join back into I animate ASAP. Have a great day for you. It's gonna be gonna be the evening for me. And uh, yeah, yeah. This is the end of this interview. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you want. Cheers.